In this video, we're looking at how to generate more trading volume on layer zero. You recall that during the Arbitrum airdrop, having a lot of trading volume was very key in order for you to get those tokens or at least try to get the maximum allocation of the airdrop. So I'm just going to come here and bring my original wallet here. You can see my wallet is almost at $300,000 in trading volume and this is over 12 months. If you guys have been following this channel, you recall that we've been talking about layer zero and we're expecting an airdrop to come in Q1 of 2024. So if you're getting started now, you have very, very limited time to get started. So you can see we're almost at $300,000 in this video. I'm going to show you how exactly I was able to generate almost $300,000 in trading volume, which means that I am now ranked under 0 0.008 in terms of the layer zero ranking and my wallet is ranked under 2,800. So you can see that if this airdrop were to hit, I actually stand to make a lot of money because I am ranked very, very high on layer zero. Now, let me show you how you can rank very high yourself with using very little money. Let's come back here. As I've already told you guys that with Abitram, it was very critical that you have a huge trading volume. So I'm going to show you now with our test wallet that we use here on the channel. And it's very important that you follow along with this document here. I'll leave this document in the description of this video. If you're part of our Discord, you already had this document here because I posted it very early before I started shooting this video. But now let's get started with today's video. Here you can see this is our test wallet that we're always making tutorials with here on the channel. And this wallet is trading at $43,000 in trading volume. We want to take this to $100,000. So let's start by buying STG here and we're buying about $2,500 worth or $2,600. You can see our order actually went through and later you can see this is where we bought and we're expecting the market to actually now start bottoming here. Let's move this to a four hour time frame so that I can show you why we're buying STG right now. Uh, if we bring this down here, you can see that the market has dropped significantly. And for those of you who are part of our Discord, you recall that we dropped this signal here, which was very, very successful. But what we want to talk about is the pullback here. So let's go ahead and grab our measuring tool and actually drag from the top right at the bottom here. You can see the market dropped by 21%, which means it's the best time for us to purchase STG. And what we're looking at is that STG is creating a bottom here. And you can see here, we're expecting the market to bounce from here and then go up. So when it goes up, we'll actually be making money while we're farming STG. I'm just going to click withdraw here on Bybit. And then from here, I'm going to type STG. I'll select the token. Then here, I want to go ahead and get my wallet and then just paste it here. And then from here, I want to select ERC20. That's the only option that we have. But we'll talk about why we're using this option later in this video. I'm going to select all and then hit submit. But before I do that, I need to confirm if my wallet address is correct. So that's fine. Now let's move on to coinmarketcap.com. On your top right corner, go ahead and search STG. And then we want to get our contract address. Contract address will be on our top left or rather bottom left. You can see these are all the contract address that we're looking at here. But the one that we're looking at is um, the Ethereum contract address i'm gonna copy that and then i'll then click on this icon here you can also use that because now you can see our stg is right there but we're gonna cancel this and show you the other option of doing this is by going to your metamask and then click on tokens then import tokens then you want to add your custom contract address and then you paste that you can see everything will auto generate and then click next you can see your tokens then you can click import now that we have our tokens on our wallet we can go ahead and start farming layer zero using stg i'm going to come here and i'm going to select stg from ethereum to binance my chain i'll click transfer then you can see because we're using ethereum it's going to be a little bit more expensive but the other transactions will be very cheap click confirm then you can see here what we're doing is that we're moving the funds that we just withdrew from Bybit and we're moving them to from Ethereum to Binance Smart Chain. And you can see this cost absolutely nothing. That's why this is the best option, even though it is a little bit risky. We'll talk about the other three options on our document. And you can see we're moving the funds from Ethereum to Binance Smart Chain. So while we're waiting for that to actually finish, as you'll see in a moment here, that it is now 
going to be finishing very, very, very soon. What we need to do is to then jump into the next step where we're going to be now using STG to generate more trading volume on layer zero. So for our next step, assuming that you now have STG under Binance Smart Chain, you want to select STG from both ends and then select Binance Smart Chain on top, which is BNB. Then you want to select the base network here. For this to actually work, you want to make sure that you have a little bit of BNB on your wallet and a little bit of Ethereum under the base network. In the video showing up on the screen right now, I already showed you guys how to fund these different blockchains here. So go ahead and watch that video. If you haven't watched it already, I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video. So now that we have that, you will then go ahead and just put the amount that you want to transfer, then click transfer. Once the funds have reached the base network, the only thing that you have to do is to click this button once which means the base network is going to be on top but it's my chain is going to be in the bottom then you move the funds now you're moving stg from the base network to the binance my chain and keep doing this process until you have reached enough volume that you want to you know reach or the volume that you're comfortable with but remember the most important thing is that you reach at least ten thousand dollars in volume and obviously, if you can push it to 250,000, that would be great. Why is 10,000 is important? Because we know that with Arbitrum, that was the minimum trading volume that they were looking for. Now, you don't necessarily have to have 10,000 as you just saw that we only put in about $2,600. And now I'll show you guys how much trading volume I can generate with that. And why is that important? It's simply because here we're not necessarily paying any fees. The only thing that you're paying for is gas fees. So that is step number one that we're using here to generate uh, trading volume. Obviously, that is not necessarily this step here. That was in step number two. And we're going to jump into step number one in a moment. Like I said, I'll leave this document in the description of this video. So if you felt like I was a little bit too fast, the only thing that you have to do is to head over to this document and start using STG. All the steps are here in order for you to follow them. So that is the first step. This step is a little bit risky in a sense that STG can drop in price. So you'll panic sell at the loss. But for me, because I know I'm getting the bottom and the trick here is only sell this STG at the higher price price than the price that you bought it at so that's the only trick i've seen a lot of people on our discord panic selling sometimes you just have to wait and hold it you recall exactly where we bought stg was uh, 38 cents i'll show you just now in a moment when stg has risen in value which means not only are we generating more trading volume but we're also making money with the stg that we actually bought it's also worth noting that by the end of this video, you would have also farmed about three airdrops. That is layer zero, the base airdrop, and also bungee airdrop. So let's move on to step number one here, which is using DAI. This is gonna be the safest way to generate trading volume, but obviously you're gonna be paying a little bit more than you are paying on Stargate. So the first thing that we have to do is to make sure that we have DAI so you can actually withdraw STG or rather you can withdraw your stable coins and have them on your wallet and just convert them on Uniswap or whatever platform that you're using. So once you have your DAI, you want to make sure that you click on Stargate. So we're going back to Stargate. Just click on the link. Everything is provided for you here. But what exactly do we need to do? We need to move DAI from Polygon to Optimism. That's the only thing that we have to do. And then we, let's head over to Stargate. And then I'm going to select Polygon here and then select Optimism here. And then from here, you can just select Die. You can see I don't have much Die because I just finished recording or rather finished this process. But I'm going to show you my transaction history. But the tricky thing here is that if you depositing 2000 Die, for example, or let's say $2,001, you can see that you are receiving just over 2000 as well. So you're not necessarily losing a lot of money. So it's the same as STG. You know, as you're moving STG, you're not necessarily being charged anything in terms of the fees here. The only thing that you're paying for is the gas fee, which is basically just standard. So you're moving DAI from Polygon to Optimism. So once you have DAI here, the tricky thing is to getting the DAI back to Polygon. And what do you do? Well, go back to the document, you're going to use Bungie for that. So click on Bungie here. And then once you're on Bungie, you want to make sure that you connect your wallet. And then from here, because what we're looking for is moving this die from Optimism back to Polygon. So what you're going to do is to select Optimism here and then select Polygon here. Then here you'll select die and also here select die. 
and then you can put the 2000 for example 2001 and here you can see the output that you're receiving back is just over two thousand dollars as well so you're not necessarily losing a lot of money you've been charged 0 0.040 so that's basically nothing so that's the way that you can push the die back to polygon so that you can click this button here so now you have the die back on optimism and then keep repeating this transaction over and over again back and forth back and forth let me show you here on my history what i've done i'm gonna click on transaction history just gonna scroll down and go back to page number three by the way guys by you using bungee bungee is rumored to have an airdrop coming up soon as well so by you doing this transaction you're also positioning yourself to be receiving those airdrop as well so that's why i said three airdrops in one video so you can see here i moved die from optimism to polygon let's move on to page number two you can see here again from from optimism to polygon from optimism polygon you can see i've been doing this going back and forth and by me doing these things i'm generating more trading volume not only here on Bungie but also here on stargate so if that is not clear again follow the steps here that's everything written down here for you on this document link in the description of this video so that is the safest way of doing this because you're not necessarily losing a lot of money in terms of volatility uh, however obviously you're not going to be making any money as well so the next step is also going to be using stable coins so that's going to be step number three when you're using step number three basically you just have to have usdc or usdt on your wallet you can use this exchange that i did put here on a document in this example i'm going to show you with core dao this one is also very cheap i'll also give you the asset that you need to have on your wallet so here because you're going to be working with uh, bnb and also core you need to be funding these blockchains again on our previous video or on a video that is showing up on the screen right now i did show you guys how to fund bnb and also the core network you can also find that video in the description of this video so here you can either use usdc or you can select this and select usdt make sure your wallet is connected the beauty is that you're not necessarily losing a lot of money here let's say you're moving the same two thousand dollars you can see the output you're also getting two thousand dollars so the only thing that you're paying for here is transaction fee the fee moving the funds from binance smart chain to a core network in terms of the gas fees is going to be 20 cent and if you're moving this vice versa it's going to be 60 cent so you can see that with just one dollar you'll be able to perform two transactions so you keep doing this until you have generated enough volume that you're happy with so that is how you generate volume here so let's go ahead and now show you guys a couple of months later uh, you can see that if we come here i'm just gonna come into my layer zero tracker and then i'll go ahead and copy my wallet address again guys we're only using this wallet to make videos here on youtube so this is not necessarily the wallet that i use on a daily basis i'm gonna click track or rather check and here you can see we have since generated over one hundred and ten thousand dollars in trading volume and obviously i started making this video about three months ago so that's why now here it says five months i had to wait for me to release this video because there was a lot of rumor around september uh, with regards to layer zero dropping but it turned out those rumors were actually false so that's why i decided to release this video now because i still believe that the snapshot has not been taken the general rule of thumb when it comes to airdrop is that you keep farming until you get the official announcement from layer zero or any other project that you're actually working on so that is how you generate trading volume again if this video was too fast for you, you can head over to this document here you'll find all the links in the in the document and also all the links to track your progress here on layer zero so that's it for these three steps that you need to do here in order for you to generate trading volume on layer zero but don't just leave just yet because next week I'm going to be uploading a new video on layer zero, which is going to be really, really interesting. So the only thing that you have to do is to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel so that you get a notification when that video does come on the channel. My name is at Fossi Designer. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to go ahead and farm the layer zero airdrop, I actually covered many videos on layer zero before and the playlist will be showing up on your screen right now. Go ahead and start farming and good luck. Hopefully we see you on the other side of withdrawals. Goodbye. Peace.